Hi, I'm Jennifer Giles at the opening night of the Long Island International Film Expo, and I am here with Ben Myers, and his film is called The Zero, not The, just Zero Method. Zero Method, yeah, wow. exactly. I feel like I've I've experienced Zero Method. <laughs> oh my God, yes, yeah, completely. We just had a Zero Method moment. I don't even know what moment. it is, but... It's yeah. a, a lot of moments of zero method. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm excited to tell you about it. I mean, okay, good, do. Well, what, what's great uh, is that it's actually a pilot uh, for oh. a series. It's a 22 and a half minute uh, sci-fi pilot. Sci-fi? Yes, yes. It's, so um, it's an actual method. It's Right, it's an actual method. Uh, zero method is the story of a character named Zero or Ethan. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's a guy who's, who's living in our present time, but he's been thrown 60 years into the future into a world where time travel has proliferated everybody's zinging about through time and um, he, he just wants to get back home because he lives in a world where there's these rules of time travel where you can go back in time but the farther back you go the shorter the amount of time you can stay so in being sent into the future now he's trapped there so if he wants to go into his past he's only can be there for like five minutes ten minutes so we're telling the story of this character. So he character. has to like choose he's which exact t moments are the most important. He's trying to find the right time. He's all about him trying to break these rules and find a way to go back to his original time where he can stay there and be with his family. So it's this kind of like heady, sci-fi, time travel, kind of nerdy, fun thing. But really, it's a story about heart. It's about trust between our main characters. Um, it's about wanting to go back to something that you wish you could. It's about our addiction to nostalgia. Uh -huh. And it's about, I think, something we can all relate to right now. It's just like kind of finding ourselves in a future that we wish we weren't in. Yeah. But in the guise of a sci-fi movie, a oh. TV show. I think, but I, I bet you at any moment in time, people would say that same thing. Which is why I really it's think so. timeless, in a way. Yeah. Right? I, so if we watch this pilot in 40 years... We would still be saying, "Oh, this is the time that we we don't want to be in," right? Yeah, I no, I really, I really think that because. But if you look, but it's sort of you're looking back too. Is he looking back and saying, you know, well, everybody else felt that way too, or it's just sort of a mirror for us? Yeah, I think well, it is certainly a mirror for us in our time right now. I think we live in frustrating times, but I agree with you that everyone has felt that, and yeah. I think something that Zero is struggling with that I've kind of personally struggled with is like. Look, I can work my ass off. I can go travel around. I can change who I am. I can do a lot of changing, but I cannot change the time that I live in. You're all married to this time that we live in. And I think there's a certain frustration that can come with that. And what Zero Method is about is finding peace with that ultimately. I mean, this character is going to have to go through a journey, and there's lots of time traveling and amazing, amazing stunt choreography uh, work and, and lots of cool set pieces and things. But it's about reconciling in your own heart like, can I get good with where I am now? Be right. here now. It's like wherever you go, there you are. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, uh, so it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, I think because that's not funny for me. Because you know, that's, I'm, that's my line. I think you know, there's like a, I'm always saying, yeah. I'll go, well, look, you know, you know, you said you wanted to do this, but now you moved, and then look, it's still you. Wherever you go, there I you try are. to give the audience a few moments to laugh, you know, to break it up, right. you know, because the lead character is he's this clever a little, but he's got a chip on his shoulder too. I play the lead character. As you're an actor too. I am an actor. I'm a proud union member. We did this on this short project agreement wrapped uh, about a year or so ago. And uh, Union Strong, just you know. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, just in there, in there. Donate <laughs> to, like you know, but, um, your folks so at the community, yeah. So, you, uh, so you're the writer, and you, you want to be the showrunner for the that series? Is, that is my objective. Uh -huh. You know, I've really started to focus on television and episodic writing the last several years. I really feel in my heart of hearts I have what it takes to be a showrunner. It's a complicated job. Uh, it's a leadership role. Um, so you produce, you produce. I produce this stuff. project as well. Yes, I, I recently had the pleasure of producing an amazing sci-fi horror concept from writer director Sam Krebs. I was an actor in that. We we wrapped that about two weeks ago. It was a week long shoot. Um, with, we did a thirty thousand dollar Kickstarter for that incredible project. I just love to you know like try to create things that are like entertaining people, but that say to something about the world we live in now, even if right. it's something in a world that is not possible or is from a whole other time and place that just kind of relates to really what's going on in our lives now so it's like a heart thing yes you know? and who played zero 
that's me. Oh, you played zero. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, I, yes, yes, I'm, I'm one of those so buttheads. So you were like, blah, 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 cut, yeah. and then you like ran around. You know, back. listen, I have a huge amount of respect for everybody that like takes <laughs> on the thing of doing that. Uh, it's I a very difficult there, yes. thing. Yes, yes, it's an incredible yeah. and beautiful thing, I think, to do. And, uh, and for me, what made it work was an incredible producing partner and DP and Nicholas Richter, who I wouldn't be here without, and my incredible supporting cast who well, I'm extremely lucky to have in the project because there's nothing like doing a scene with somebody else and be, and giving and then giving back yes. and I had the p privilege and pleasure of doing that with an amazing cast who I hope I give the opportunity to shine people really responded to their work so yeah I I'm I'm zero yes yeah, it's, that's in the, the zero situation. method yes in yes. zero method yes exactly and um, when is when is zero method showing uh, we have the pleasure of screening at the Long Island International Film Expo tomorrow on Thursday at 9 p.m. in the retro futurism block uh, nice. fuse tickets are still available I think um, uh -huh. so please nab them and check us out you know? yeah it sounds really good yeah and you can also learn more about us at at Zero Method TV on Instagram, if everybody's interested. I'm um, interested. Yeah, we're looking to do maybe like a fall drop. Uh, we've just been in festivals and pitching so far, but we're thinking we're really going to let our audience who really loves the project. What's your um, what's your what's your dream place for it to land? I think I think it makes sense at like a Warner Discovery, you know, yeah. Max situation. Yeah. I think that there's like a dark. I was going to say Max. Yeah, I think it's like a dark tone, but at the same time, like it's adventurous. You know, I think there's the, I think it has sort of the HBO kind of prestige heart combined with sort of a sci-fi pulp that could make sense there. Um, so you know, we'd love to be talking to them and the Uselands and et cetera. Nice. Um, but That's you know, exciting. we're just trying to. Uh, see what's next with it, but most importantly is like hear from the audience. And so yes. that's why I'm super excited to screen at a live theater tomorrow at the Belmore Theater yes. where you can listen to people react and get excited. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Thursday. Yes. Thursday and the Retro Futurism block. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. I, I really appreciate you film. so much. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. What happened? You said